Forever Lost. The magic numbers, and the magic number is 104.9. <laughs> oh. XFM. I'm Ricky Gervais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Right, two more shows. Till we're off air for I don't know how long. Is that two more including this one? Yeah. No, 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 no. Two more after Yeah, include- yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, it's like this, this, this is one and then there's another one. Right, two and more shows. And that's the last one. There's yeah, two right. more shows, yeah. Including start, this one. We'll start in now. Starting two, no, if I just said this at the end, it might have been ambiguous. But I've said it at the beginning, includes. there's two hours, that's a whole show. Right. So there's two more shows. Two more shows including this one. Yes, okay. obviously. So one more show after It's this only one. five past one. After this show, one more. Yeah, one more, yeah. Next week there's one more show. That makes two altogether. Oh, no, now it's only one more show. Good night. Um. Now, it better be a good one, Carl. Have we got, uh, Rockbusters? Yeah. To Check. win those prizes? Check. Have we got Monkey News? Check. Is it a real Monkey News or is it Always something is. that's slightly made Always up is. that you- What? Always is. We should check. Okay. Uh, Knob News? Uh, here we've got a bit of Knob News, yeah. I'm worried that Knob News, because it's only about penises, is a little bit mm -hmm. sexist. Um, have we got any fanny facts? <laughs> <laughs> can we- maybe can we sort that out for next week? I don't want to alienate <laughs> our female audience. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Minge London. <laughs> um, good, I'm glad that's that. Well, um, brilliant. Uh, we got a song with a story? Yeah, doing that. What is it? Uh, I don't want to sort of tell you what it is yet. Because right. the song isn't that great, do you oh, know what I mean? It's not a song oh, that, like, that, that's like an XFM song, but every time I hear it on, say, like, Magic or whatever, yeah. I have an argument- 105.4. Yeah, I have an argument with Suzanne that, you know, what I think it's about, and mm. she says, don't be stupid, it's not about that, and I'll say, no it is. And so we're gonna decide who's right. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know what song you're talking about, and I don't know what the argument is, but Suzanne's right. Definitely. No well, doubt about it. Yeah. Well, I'll listen, but I'm hoping that once people sort of listen to it again with my thoughts every well, time Well, this song it, sums up what people should think of you. It's don't believe a word. Alright? That's the sort of links I'm capable of. If that was the bad guys of Sony, then nothing <laughs> <laughs> would Then Lizzie. Don't believe a word on XFM 104.9. I'm gonna miss this show. It's been good. You wanna be the only one? No, well, you know, so we're, we're, we're come back again. We've got, we've got a lot to do over the next few months, but maybe, maybe, maybe Christmas or just after. But I still call Carl every day anyway. Oh, sure. Uh, um, see, I called him, um, a couple of days ago. Of course you did. And I went, uh, that was the weekend, I went, what are you doing? He went, oh, just in Regent's Park and that. I went, oh, he said, just going for, went, oh! Jesus! I went, what? He went, a caterpillar just fell out of the sky. I went, what? He went, a caterpillar just fell out of the sky. God, it's there, it's wriggling around. I went, I'm sure a bird didn't just drop it. He looked at it and went, oh yeah. <laughs> Of course it did. Yeah. For a moment he thought caterpillars were raining from the sky. I thought I was, t I was, I was in chicken licking. Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. What, why did you think a caterpillar had fallen out of the sky? I don't know, it just startled me a bit. <laughs> I love carving stuff! I like the idea of him straight on the phone to Trevor McDonald. Look, Trevor, there's, there's caterpillars, insects falling out of the sky. They're falling out of the sky now. Put it on the news, quick. Are you sure there wasn't a bird? Oh, there was a bird. Yeah, sorry, Trev. Bye! <laughs> but it was weird. after, like, I hung up, well, I hung up the phone and that from you. I mm. sort of, uh, sat there for a bit watching it. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine him cross-legged, just in front of it. But do you know what? Grass. Because, because of his shape, the shape of his head and his sort of IQ, I bet the caterpillar was thinking, mama. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Go and, on. Uh, it was, it was sort of running about all over the place, right, Steve? So the caterpillars have loads of feet and that, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, they have six legs. They're actually larvae of an insect. So they have six legs, but they have little sucker things to hold on to them, like cabbages and that. No, they've got more than that. They've it's got. Well, I tell you, they have got six true legs. Trust me. Trust me. I'm a scientist. And you were thinking what, Carl? Well, it was- But they've got little- it? they've got little pods, they've got little, um, pseudo pod legs mm. and little suckers, yeah. But it was running about, like, everywhere, right, mental, but sort of running off to the left, and then it sort of went back to where it was, <laughs> then back, you know, went r right and what have you, and I'm just thinking, whoever gave them the legs, right, what's the point if they don't know where they're going and that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you can get a Imagine that sentence. Do you hear that just- did you hear that sentence? Can we play that <laughs> sentence back? No, I don't think we can. Imagine who gave them that leg. Whoever- whoever- whoever gave them them legs, what's the point if they don't know where they're going and that? And that. Always and that. And that, but- but maybe you just- to be fair to the caterpillar, with all its legs, okay, and you know where it was going, it had just been plucked from its house by a bird, shot up into the sky and then dropped from 80 feet. 
hitting the ground. Onto the head of a weird, bold shaved monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably concussed. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's one of them things again, though. But I it mean. still knew more about the world than you. How does that make you feel? I just, I just think it's a waste of time having all them feet. It's the same thing as the, uh... <laughs> now it's got feet, yeah. man! It has a nightmare uh, buying shoes, doesn't it, Carl? <laughs> all the, uh, what was it, what was it you were saying about leeches and that? Cause we were talking about insects. Well, they're not insects. All these, they're uh, not insects. What are they? Well, I think they're probably, uh, class, they're probably platy helminths. Probably a, yeah. sort of like a flatworm type thing. That's like what you were thinking, wasn't it, Carl? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't know what the them is, but there's, no. They'd, uh, they'd be, you know. What was uh, the leech? What was an interesting? Well, it's track? there's an experiment uh, um, where you get a maze for a leech, and there's a bit of blood thing, and it learns. It eventually finds its way to the blood, okay, and then it knows. Okay. And if you, if you put it back to where it starts, it knows where it straight. It goes straight towards it because it's learned it. If you liquidise that leech, right, and feed it to some leeches who have never done the maze, because of a thing called chemical memory, they find their way straight to the blood. That is extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, in, it's incredible. We but should try that at Hampton Court one weekend. <laughs> 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 but maybe with some tourists. <laughs> Just blend up some tourists. <laughs> or the people on them, um, I'll tell you, we would do it. Those people who go on, um, Celebrity Love Island. Any of them. They would do anything it. to get yeah. them. They will be liquidised. People <laughs> have enemas. They will do and they wank off pigs. They would do anything to get on yeah. telly. What about that? Be liquidised and fed to a n get get one D celebrity slapper, uh, liquidise her and feed her to another slut. So and see if she can tippers. find her way. <laughs> and see if she can find her way to Channel Five. Yeah. What <laughs> a brilliant show, hosted by Jimmy Carr. Of course. That'd be amazing. The Kinks, better things on XFM one hundred four point nine. Steve Merchant, Ricky Gervais, Carl Pilkington. But do you know this? um... We we're talking about the leech thing. Sure. Right. You're saying put them in a blender. I'm not saying that. <laughs> well, someone did. Yeah. Why were they doing that in the first place? Do you know what I mean? How did they find out that if you if you put leeches in a blender? I don't know. They probably couldn't know. I don't. I don't. I no, don't no, know. No, no, no. But what what made them? Were they just having a laugh? What what made them go? Uh, uh, was it a party? It was a couple of forty years. No, it was a party. It was a couple of research scientists. They'd be given a million pounds, and the boss was coming around to say what you're doing, and they were just making a smoothie, and they went quick. Mr. Yakimoto's come round, throwing some leeches. What are you doing? Just leeching. Just feeding these leeches to some other leeches. <laughs> All right. Well, that looks like science. I'm off. <laughs> Well, that's what they get. Another million pounds yeah, next yeah, year. Yeah, Bye. Yeah. That's how they work, though, isn't it? A lot yeah, of these scientists. That's exactly how they work. That's I'm just it. saying they're getting away with murder. Go on. Well, just just the way they do sort of spend. Uh, and he time. can't say anything in front of him because everything's got everything's everything's got a point with him. Mm. You can't have a conversation with Carl because he always he always sort of puts in a curveball. You you tell him something. And it, 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 the question comes back that you never could have expected. When I told him about that story about the monkey who had run away because he had an argument with his father, he said, what was it about? <laughs> yeah. Now, no one in the world thinks that. <laughs> no one in the world the, the, would ask that question. The leech thing. Yeah. You know how you said, uh, show, show the leech the way to its better food, whatever it's eating or whatever. Yeah. In the maze, right? Yeah. It makes its way. Yeah. Right? It eats the cheese or whatever. Right? Blood. Blood, right? And then, <laughs> then you give it, you give it. Everything's a cartoon yeah. with Carl as well, isn't it? Everything is a cartoon. It's a leech with a little hat <laughs> and a little baby bell at one end. But what happens if you got another one and yeah. move the uh, bit of blood? Yeah. Right? So, feed those two leeches to one. Then what? So is it going to get confused or? Do you know what I mean? Which which way will it go if you've if it's eaten two, two leeches? Yeah. That have done two different ways. Yeah. Is it sort of stressed out? <laughs> No! I don't know. It probably knows both routes. It probably goes, well, there's one over here. Oh, there's one over here as well. I'm happy. I've had two for the price of one. Right, and, okay. I'm, and I'm full of leeches. <laughs> then what, what's the best that can happen for like... I don't- what are you talking about? What do you want because out of Because I'm just saying if they could- if they- if by that, if by doing that they can go, right, we can do this, we're humans. I'd oh, what do you mean? What do you- what do you mean in the name of Christ? Do what do humans. you mean? All I'm saying is, what's the point in doing it? Think what- what do you mean? If you could do it with humans, I'd say- But well, what- 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 right, Carl, think about what you're saying, man. Yeah, I'm saying- If you could do it with humans, do what with humans? Say if Einstein, right, didn't do all that maths that he did, right? Say if he got to E equals and then he died. Squash well, his brain, eat, give it to someone else, say, right, eat that. 
And they go, right, it's E equals MC squared, isn't it? What I'm saying is- But they wouldn't. They'd go, E equals, oh. Wouldn't they? If it was chemical memory, they'd go, oh, E equals, oh, yeah, same as Einstein said. Yeah, I just ate his brain. What am I saying? What are you- t what have you made- Carl, think what you're saying. It's unbelievable. Uh, you th the thing is, right, you actually, you, you are what a scientist does. You just keep saying why and what and why and what, but nothing's ever enough for you, which is good. It's, no, it's well, nice I, to have I, a discatchable- I get annoyed with all the, the amount of time and effort that's put into stuff that's useless. What's the next stage to squashing that leech? <laughs> if, if it's not going anywhere, forget it, work on something else. <laughs> it's the same way in some science magazine I was reading about, <laughs> is there anything smaller than a quantum electron or something? Yeah. It's like, if it's not getting in the way, don't worry about it. 